Bar six. He's performed very well in 100 chases this year, and he jumped, well, a little bit here and there in the Kim Muir at Cheltenham, but he still managed to be fourth on that occasion, ran a good race, and the stable is in great form. John Edwards' horses uh, are really firing on all cylinders. Mr. Philip Fenton, the Irish amateur, is a man that you'll see a lot more of. Very, very good amateur indeed, and he was third in their championship last year. But I must say about John Edwards' horses, I looked at one yesterday, Dixton House, and he was outstanding and ran just that way, finished second. My jockey we interviewed before racing, Alan Hill, who stands at six foot two, although he tries to bend over when we're talking to him. And he has been judged the best turned out horse for the REA bot Fox Hunters Chase. And George Cook, the lad responsible for him, gets 100 quid in cash. And doesn't he look well? Lovely horse, handsome big brute. He's by the stallion for Habsburg, out of board a knife. He's owned a trade by James Delahook from Buckingham. James, who is a really big noise in the uh, flat world, has bought a lot of the top flat horses as yearlings. He's a three to one shot at the moment. And he qualified with the Bister and Wadden chase. And he's a top class hunter chase. A sure to really run well here. Alan was a little bit uh, shy when talking about his chances earlier on. But anyway, we, we lose him. This is a good horse, Border Berg. He is a bit, and uh, I just hope he's he's got a rubber bridle on. Which I'd rather... Oh, no, that's not oh. mine. And that is Haber Vanter, who is... He's got his sheet caught round his tail. Uh, this is Gavin Rag, who we spoke to earlier. Well, thankfully, that is free now. But here is Caroline Beasley again. And the visor on, Eliogati. He's a lovely horse, Bill. He is. I see he still runs in a cross noseband. He doesn't run that freely anymore now, but they've kept it on him. And he also goes in a rubber bit. You'll get all the ladies in Scotland complaining. It's called a grackle, grackle. Bill. Grackle. Right, yes, of course it is. And uh, I get no, uh, no end of letters from Scotland. You know, every time we call them a cross noseband, they go mad. Yeah, it's a grackle, of course. But here, Bill, a long time yet before the start. Long parade. I mean, horses can boil over. Your fellow looked a little bit a ninth last year in the race. He, he knows what to do. He's been round. And what a great start it is for Gavin, because he's got the national ride. That's it. He rides Drum Lagen tomorrow. And you don't get much practice around here, because there's only three races a year over these fences. So he's taken the view. He might as well ride around today and get a little bit of practice in, get his eye in. The horse ninth last year, after some trouble at the first. Maybe he should have been closer. It would be good to see him today. The first fence looks very small to us old jocks. Yes, I don't think they're as big as they were a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Safe when you're sitting yes. there. Yes. But the thing about the first is they'll be going too fast. 25 runners. There's your fellow looking at it yeah, now. I hope he's taking a good look. He's inclined to be a little bit chancy over the first two or three before he settles down. So Tom's giving him a good chance. They, they've never seen a fence like this before. So they're just having a little bit of a look. Now he's turned away and quietly hacking him back. 3 to 1, Eliogadi, Borderberg. Selborne Rambler, 5 to 1. That hasn't moved. Ferrard Friend, though, has gone out to 7 to 1. King Barbar, 10s. Points pass, 14 to 1. Cormick 16 to 1. Sonny May is 25 to 1. Prince Milborn, 33 to 1. These are all new. Clon, uh, Cormick, Sonny May, and Prince Milborn. That's 33 to 1. Prince Milborn, 50 to 1 bar. He could. Yep. And uh, Caroline just patting him, trying to relax him. Good old campaigner now, knows the job very well. Very experienced and uh, very fancy today. And uh, f first season trainer, he's been around, but he's with Michael Robinson now, but he started off in Ireland with John Hassett, and then he went to Barry Kelly, then to uh, David Murray-Smith, and now, of course, he's, he's with Michael Robinson. Yeah, I think the old horse will probably teach a few trainers what to do. He's, uh, <laughs> he knows the job very well. He does indeed. But I just remember that uh, there's Feathard Friend. Feathard Friend, I tried to buy him when I was trying to buy Swift Current, and I couldn't buy him, so I'll be interested to see how he goes today. Been round in the National, again, Aintree experience, lovely sort of horse, running for Case Alcade, who's uh, more associated with the flat horses, but a great sporting owner for some jumpers. Yes, he's been, he's been increasing his jumping string, you know, and in fact, this horse was bought originally for the Grand National, but uh, now is coming back to the lesser distances. He's an eight to one shot at the moment. Green-white uh, sleeves there of Sonny May, Jeff Hubbard's horse, going through his 27, Smiling Sam, Marcus Armitage, and the green checks there, that is Shack Shackin Brig, he's by New Brig, and let's see if there's any recent move in the market. Well, we've still got joint favourites, 3 to 1, Eliogarty and Borderberg, the Selborne Rambler is 6 to 1, Fedard Friend has shifted out even further to 8 to 1, 
King Baba 10s, uh, Points Pass 14s, Concomic 16 to 1, Sunny May 28 to 1, Prince Milbourne 33 to 1, 50 to 1 bar. I'm getting excited just sitting here. It's uh, a long way to go. Boona Baru coming round there. Number five nearest to us. Former Peter Green all horse. Yes, very good horse. Good form between the flags. That's to say, point to pointing. Hasn't shown anything in his only run uh, and a hunter chase when he unseated his rider, but that's not, not to say he's without ability. Good horse on the point to point track. And Julian Seaman, his jockey, uh, a former three day eventer, he, he's actually come to grief at the first fence in this race before, so he'll be looking to. He'll be careful at the first then. There's King Barbar, blue with the green sash, just going out of the picture. Lovely big horse, just the sort of fox hunter horse. There he is with the red hat on it. Yellow and uh, uh, Gavin's mother, because I know she's very keen that he survives. So <laughs> perhaps she thinks that it's a lucky omen to splash a few quid on. Of course, the chair, the third fence here, looks small from this join, Peter. And the 25 runners being called in for the last race over the Grand National fences before the big one tomorrow. That's Binge, who's got to turn towards the far left as we see them. Swift current turns, the grey is broadside to the tape. But that's it, they're away. And Selborne Rambler, one of the first to show. Swift current quite well away towards the near side. Eliogad is up there. Feathered Friends well there in the centre with points pass also. Selborne Rambler towards the left as we see them as they come to this fence. Selborne Rambler and Cresball Case. And, oh, there are several fallers. Several have gone at the first. And Boona Baru is one. Boona Baru has gone and so has Doorstep at the first. And there it was Feathered Friend and Swift Current. They're all safely over the second. But uh, Boona Baru, as I say, a faller at the first and doorstep. And they're coming down to the chair now with Swift Current, the grey, in the lead from a Plalto and points pass. Then comes Feathered Friend. And Swift Current lands in the lead. A Plalto is nearly gone. But Selborne Rambler has lost his position altogether, coming down to the water and Swift Current. Let the coming to land in the lead. Swift current over on the far side. On the near side, King Baba. Right up with them is Abba Vanta, the other grey. In fact, it's the two greys disputing it now as they run down towards the Melling Road. It's Swift current from Abba Vanta. Prince Milbourne has gone. And over on the outside, it's King Baba. Lexador is well up there with Feathered Friend. Then a Plato on the inside and Clon Cormick. And then Borderberg. And as they come to the Melling Road, the two greys disputing it. Abba Vanta and Swift current with Feathered Friend and Lexador and King Baba up there. And over to John Hanley. Yes, on the inside, it's still the two greys, Abba Vanta and Swift Current, then Lexador well there in the centre, then King Baba not far behind them, and Borderberg's taken much closer order. And they're all over that, though Points Pass has lost. It looks as if Brod Monroe Wilson's having steering problems, he's almost running off the course, but over the next. And Lexador landed in the lead, then Abba Vanta is second, Feathered Friend is third then King Baba, then Borderberg, and then comes Clon Cormick, and at the big ditch now, and Lexador landed in the lead, and the faller there was King Baba. King Baba went at that, but I can't see another faller, and fed out friend and Lexador from Abavanta, Clon Cormick, then Borderberg, Schackenbrick, and Eliogarty, and over to Julian Wilson. Laxador, fettered friend in the centre, still there on the near side is Abba Vanta with a good position. Clon Cormac quite close behind the leaders now, and uh, Shack and Brig also close behind the leaders as they jump the one before Beaches. Fettered friend, Clon Cormac, Abba Vanta on the inside, and all the leaders are over that one, and the back markers as well. Yup, all over that one as they race down to Beaches. And as they do so, Clon Cormick disputing it with Fetter Trend and the red colours towards the outside border Berg much closer now and Shack and Brig as they jump Beechers. The leaders all over Beechers. Every one of the leaders is over Beechers. Not a single faller as they race down to what will be the 7th and 23rd. All over Beechers without exception and Clon Cormick uh, led over that one and a faller there was Legal Emperor. Legal Emperor is down at what will be the 7th on Saturday as they come down towards the canal turn. Clon Cormick from Fetter Friend on the inside is Abba Vanta, then Borderberg, then Chuckin Brick towards the outside. Selvin Rambler with a good position on the inside and then Eli Ogarty and Lexador as they jump the canal turn and all the leaders over that one as well. With up front Clon Cormick from Fetter Friend. 
Eliogati getting much closer now, Abavanta and Selvin Rambler and Borderberg on the inside as they jump that one and all over Valentines, all the leaders over Valentines as we rejoin John Hanmer. And it's Con Cormac from Borderberg, then Feathered Friend in third place, Shaq and Greek fourth, Abavanta is fifth, then Eliogati. And he's followed by Selborne Rambler, then Lexador, then Shining Band. This is the last ditch, four from home. And Borderberg has a slight lead from Con Cormac, Abavanta, then Selborne Rambler, Shackin Brig, Feathered Friend, then Eliogarty there, clear of Lexador, Shining Band, Swift Current, Sunny May, and then Contrary Lady, Master Neville and Aplalto. And over the third last, and Borderberg landed in the lead from Selborne Rambler, Abavanta. Three honours has pulled up. Con Cormac's in fourth place. Eliogarty is fifth. Then Feathered Friend. Then Shining Ban has fallen at that last one. But going across the Melling Road. And Abavanta goes up to dispute the lead with Borderberg and over to Pedro Sullivan. Yes, it's Abavanta from Borderberg with Selborne Rambler going well just in behind him. Then comes Feathered Friend. Shack and Brig has lost ground. Eliogat is trying to get on terms with him, and it's Borderberg who's hit the front now. With Eliogat coming to challenge on the near side, it's Borderberg now from Eliogat and Selborne Rambler still going well on the far side. Borderberg coming down towards the next now. Lands in the lead from Eliogat and Selborne Rambler and Feathered Friend. It's Borderberg from Selborne Rambler with his white face showing to the right of the picture as they come down towards the final fence now in the REA Bot Fox Hunters. Borderberg lands in the lead from Eliogarty, last year's winner. It's Borderberg and Alan Hill from Carolyn Beasley on Eliogarty. Then comes Selborne Rambler and Paul Weber as they race to the elbow. Borderberg from Eliogarty and Selborne Rambler and Feathered Friend putting in a tremendous challenge but inside the final furlong is Borderberg from Eliogarty. Eliogarty is still challenging, but Borderberg holding Eliogarty and as they come to the line, Borderberg is going to win the Fox Hunters. Eliogarty is second, it's a photo for third between Selborne Rambler and Feathered Friend. They're in a photo for third. Behind them came Abavanta and Shuckin Brig, and then came Swift Current and Contrary Lady and Lexador. And behind them came Sunny May. Behind Sunny May was Glon Cormick and then Master Neville. These are all finishers.